Hello everyone, this is Lori Salesforce again and this time we are going to demonstrate how we can prevent entering a future date if we're not supposed to. So, um, we are still on the contact object and let's say we are entering a new person named Time Traveler. Um, let's just for this project, we're supposed to um, have members that we are monitoring whether they're at risk or not. At risk being that they are not active anymore, like you we're not seeing them on LinkedIn or on webinars or or in Facebook group. So we are going to report them to the admins of Talent Stacker so that the admins can um, deem the member at risk and. Once that is entered as at risk, we are supposed to enter a date. Now, since this cannot be in the future, because uh, let's say I received a report yesterday and I'm just remembering to enter that now, I can put the, end, the date as that or, or I can change it so that the date is today, right? But one thing for sure, I should not be able to enter a future date for that. But what if I accidentally hit a future date and did not notice it? So I should not be able to save this. So how to do that? Let's just Put this back to no risk and let us remove this date for now we will go to the back and create a new validation rule so this new validation rule we are going to name as date cannot be in the future so that's our rule uh, and entering the date for when the member is deemed at risk, it can only have values for past dates or for today. So it's an easy enough formula. Um, so what you're entering as the date will be this date and it cannot be more than today. Okay. Because if you enter a date that's more than today, it should give you an error that sorry no time travel allowed please change the date to either today or sometime in the past no time travel to the future and we will Put that warning again around that field so we will go back to the time traveler and let's say we are going to enter at risk and try to save that without adding a date okay we will have to put a date and i when i mistakenly entered 429 so let's see how this error message is now going to look like so the error message is now sorry no time travel to the future allowed please change the date to either today or sometime in the past so we are going to change that to today and let's try to save again and this time it's saved all right i hope that's gonna be helpful to someone in the future thank you for watching